Okay, my wife is telling me that we're getting an FH reading, and apparently that's a uh, water uh, sensor code. I've never seen it feel like this before. Looks to pull the back off. This top piece doesn't have to come off. This piece is tucked underneath here, so from these screws all the way down, all the way around, come off. And then you have a couple in the middle. I did want to show you the way to take this off. There's a screw there, you can see it, center of the screen. Another one in the middle here. You can't see that one too good. And there's another one over here. So it just drops out like that. So then when you put it back, set the bottom in and then push your top back and then raise it. And then you put your screws in. I replaced the flow meter, which cost me $47. The other one wasn't turning, so this had to re be replaced anyway. Put this in, and it gave me the same reading. I just started to load, and I have the back off because I wanted to kind of see how this thing was working and if I could hear anything. I was looking at this hose because it was up against this, and I was finding black stuff underneath it. I found this. There's a hairline tearing it. See if I can get that. Let's see. There you go. I'm going to splice it. There's enough here. And then I'm going to zip tie it away from this weight was I cut that piece out I spliced it together so then I just stuck it in behind the drain pipe and that's probably all of a inch and a quarter maybe so this nipple goes up here so the end gets put on the here, and then the other end, right there to that orange nipple. And that's supposed to work off of pressure, it's an actuator switch. So we'll get this thing put on there. Clean that out a little bit. I'm going to move this seal. Reset with this silicone. Let's gently put that back in there, just like that. Okay. Okay, and this screw goes right here. Holds that in there. it. We can stick this back on there. Set that there. And I'm going to snake it in behind this drain pipe here and attach it to that little nipple. Okay, it's on there. I did blow gently into that air pressure switch and then I took this off clean that out. This is a flow meter that I changed out. And I blew through mine because you're supposed to blow. This is this is the flow this way. And so I blew here and it, it sounded really bad. And then it just I blew a couple more times to see if um, it was going to work. 
and it just froze on me. Then I went through and unplugged this, and there's a board in there, and that came out with the plug, but it's supposed to come with the board. I'll tell you who we bought it from. It's National Appliance in Modesto. And you can order from them. They're pretty good. And it came in when they told me it would. It took two days. There's four shocks. And then this thing moves. It's a neat design. All the hoses are ribbed for movement. The wires are left loose for movement. That should be shutting down the spin right now. The last minute it just kind of tumbles back and forth to loosen up the clothes. Okay, there it goes. Well, I made it through the cycle. I'll run another cycle and hopefully the FH code doesn't come back on. So you know, ultimately, I think it was cleaning out this vacuum line or pressure, air pressure line and taking that apart. Took that apart, cleaned it out, and so far it's working. Okay, so I'm going to put the top back on. So you set it up there. And the front of these here, that slides underneath this so when you set it up there you'll set it about here and the front of that lid will be about here maybe half inch and it'll just slide into place right so then you have these holes and those will go into these okay so that's how it sits these little holes will line up with these tabs right and so you just bring it forward okay just like that and then back here one two three screws and you're set push it back into place and you're set